Hey buddy, looks into swirl here. Today we are going to do a pour over onto a canvas. It is an eight by 10 canvas, so we will need a little more than five ounces of paint. Uh, what we are going to pour over, because I need a pop of color in my bathroom and the idea of taping everything off, primering and painting just makes me want to hurl. So we're gonna do the pop of color by coloring or painting this wonderful toothbrush holder. And then I can put it on the corner of my bathroom counter and it will be colorful without me having to do any further work. <laughs> so uh, the top comes apart. I have taped off the holes where the toothbrushes will go so paint won't just go th through them. Although now that I think about it, that might be kind of cool. You know what, maybe, maybe I'll take that off. Maybe that would be kind of fun. Anyway, the bottom part, is going to sit on top of these cups so it's a little bit off the canvas like that sort of like when we pour over a vase so i'll be able to pick it up by the the cups there and move it off and i was going to put i was going to put this on a littler cup um, but if i turn the cup over and i take the tape off huh then the paint's gonna basically pour through. It'll go down the cup, but it'll end up on the canvas in probably an interesting pattern. So let's do that instead, because we're all about interesting patterns here. And we'll see what we get. We have our bowl for layering. This is a 10 ounce cup or a 10 ounce bowl, a uh, silicone bowl. I get these from Amazon. Uh, you can peel the paint out, or you can be lazy like me sometimes and leave it until it dries and then put more paint in. I will link everything below in the description. They're really useful, I love them. And we are gonna put this aside for the moment and layer our cup. Our colors today are Liquitex Basics plus Floetrol Deep Green Permanent. Uh, this is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic with Floetrol in blue and in white. Uh, Blick. Blacrylic and Floetrol, this is Fluorescent Violet. This is Blacrylic and Floetrol Turquoise Green. And Liquitex Basics with Floetrol Payne's Gray. So all those colors are gonna go into this cup and then over my new toothbrush holder, which as you might imagine, if you watched any of my videos, came from Dollar Tree. So not only will I get a pop of color in my bathroom pretty easily, but it didn't cost me an arm and a leg either. Yay. All right, let's start layering our cup. There we go. We can always put some color around the edges if we need more paint. Now we'll put that off to the side and I will put that there. And I wonder if I could just, I don't really want the paint to collect around here. Oh, we're gonna do it this way. I want the paint to drip off onto the canvas, not to run underneath, because that will make it hard to close it. Okay, and now I shall commence pouring. I no longer have a side camera. My phone is my main camera now, so I don't need to worry about angles of pour. But I hope you can see this, sort of a tree ring. Go down here first and then we'll do that one. And then we'll come back to that one. Let me switch hands. This should be interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna get, I don't know what I'm gonna get. <laughs> but you know, interesting. That's what we're going for. We're going for interesting. Okay, and a little bit more here. Put 
that drip off. Take that one off first. This one's a little trickier. I could have put it higher up off the canvas. Maybe I should have. There we go. Okay, I think I'm going to add a little paint around the corners and edges. Let's see, what shall we use? Oh. Well, we've already got a ton of blue. Okay. We'll go with white <laughs> because more like it is now. If you don't have any paint, then as the paint moves while you're tilting and touches uh, just plain canvas, it will actually roll over itself and you'll lose all of this stuff around the edge. It'll tuck underneath and get lost completely. So uh, this helps the paint stay as it is and flow to the edges, at least in her, in her thinking or her theory. And I'm, she has a lot more experience and gorgeous paintings than I, so I tend to think her theory has a lot of merit. So, and now we tilt. I forgot to say that. I'm so sorry. I like that. That is very cool. Very, very, very cool. Oops. Ha! I just touched my cup hole or my toothbrush holder over here. Hopefully it'll keep dripping and fix that problem. It should, it should be okay. All right, let me clean up and we will go in for a close up on both items. All right, first we'll do a close up on our toothbrush holder. The top looks really cool. And so does the bottom, frankly. I'll show you where I accidentally touched it and you can see that it's already, it was right there, it's already starting to cover that spot up because the paint is still dripping and will be for a little while. So I'm not too terribly worried about that. Now we will do the close up on our painting, which is gorgeous. Lower right hand corner, up the right side, upper right hand corner, across the top, Upper left, down the left side, lower left, and across the bottom. And we will go for the whole enchilada. There we go. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.